Hi everyone, this is Miss Geist with the trombone and video number two. All right, trombone's best instrument, I love it. Um, so today we're gonna review a little bit about what the video one had said and then we're gonna add how to put it together. We will talk about how to care for it and clean it later on, you don't have to worry about that right now. But I'm not gonna lie, putting the trombone together is the hardest instrument to do that properly. Um, holding it is also a little awkward. It's balancing is kind of hard to do. And your hand, your arm right here, your wrist, it's gonna hurt for a while. Three, four, five weeks, and then after that, those muscles will get built up, all right? So don't give up and, and uh, just know that you're gonna work through that pain for a little bit. Okay, so just to review, the brand name has to go on the top, and the, the latches normally will go down. All right, just to review, we're gonna do it on the floor. So if it does have an accident and falls, it's not gonna fall very far. And we talked about having a name tag on your instrument, a proper one, luggage tag, anything will do, but I don't want a piece of tape here. I don't want this with a rubber band or a, a, a zip tie with a piece of paper. That's where I saw a couple things this week. So make sure it's just a proper name tag. Once you buy one, you never have to buy one again, all right? and then I can give it to you if it gets lost. All right, so your parents got an email about that. We talked about it in the class. Um, take care of business, I would love that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm gonna open up the trombone just to make sure. I'm gonna be careful with it. I saw a couple of you guys this week um, have it like that and then open it. Not okay, the trombone is gonna fall out. So you must have it flat on the floor. I saw a lot of that this week, okay? So flat on the floor, open it up. And then we're good to go. Let's review really fast what we did with the mouthpiece. So two fingers, not a fist, two fingers only. Bring it right in the middle, all right? Right in the smack dab middle. Take a deep breath. If you wanna keep it as steady as possible, we started talking about sirens. Now there's a bunch of different ways to describe how to do a siren. We want to buzz loose. We want to be relaxed. We don't want to puff our cheeks though. We wanna be loose to play low and a little bit more firm corners. When you're playing higher, you push more air from your gut. You move your bottom lip in and out a little bit and focus the air stream down or up. And you just, we'll get the hang of it. We'll talk about it in class a lot. There's different ways to teach it, but for now, I just want you to experiment what works best for you. If you found out in class last week, a lot of people did it just by pressing more air with their gut, okay? And uh, moving it faster air and using these bunny muscles right here. So watch my lips. I'm gonna start low and loose, no puffing cheeks. And a lot of my lip is vibrating inside the mouthpiece. Lots of fat right there. It's going right in the mouthpiece and buzzing. That way your sound is gonna be open and pretty loud. All right, so I'm gonna put my mouthpiece down for a second and I'm gonna grab the body, uh, actually I'm gonna grab the slide trombone is very delicate i think i told you in class already this instrument can get bent very easily and when it does we are not going to be great trombone players because we're going to have to struggle it's like having a broken arm if your slide is bent or um, dented so we want to be very careful with this slide okay um don't lean on it don't ding it on people or, or on your case or whatever. Um, but we wanna be gentle with this. Now there is a slide lock here, very important. I tried a couple of years this week, or this week and a couple of years is stuck. I told you how to fix that. You wanna make sure that your mom or dad take a little tiny plier and just get it unstuck for you, okay? 
um, and I usually have my tools with me. I can fix that pretty easily. That slide lock is important because if you have that slide lock off, whoo, your trombone slide will go that way and this will go that way and then you'll end up bending this gentle, gentle part. So if that happens, you just gently put it back in. Now my trombone just got fixed, so it moves like butter. And yours will too if you take care of it. We will talk about how to grease your slide and clean it later on. You don't really need it right now, okay? In a couple of weeks, I will do a video, or my son, who's videotaping now, he has a really good video for you to watch to how to take care of your slide, okay? Now, I'm going to put my slide lock back on, very important. Um, this thing down here is called a spit valve. Yep, it is for spit, but we really don't spit in our trombone if you wanna know the big word. It's condensation. Kind of like when you go <sighs> against a window, like a cold window if you're in the snow and you wanna see your fog, <sighs> that's called condensation. So this spit valve, I'll show you how to use that in a little bit. Now you take the body of your trombone, you're gonna be very gentle with it and you're gonna want to oopsie hello uh, you're gonna want to put it like that down that way and it's gonna be how can i describe this perfectly let me see it's gonna have to be at a 90 degree angle your bell should be on the left hand side it's kind of hard to see in the video because it's backwards probably so you wanna make sure it's a 90 degree angle. And if you see this part right here, it has a bend in it. No, you didn't drop your instrument. That bend is supposed to go in your neck area, okay? So you've got your trombone at a 90 degree angle. Uh, we wanna make sure that when we are moving the trombone slide and body around that this screw is loose, okay? If you tighten it down and you try to move it, yeah, it'll move, but you're going to strip the screw. And eventually that won't stay tight anymore when you keep doing that, all right? That's with any screw, okay? So you have to make sure if you wanna move it, unloosen it or loosen it up, I mean, loosen it up, then adjust it, okay? Do not strip the screw or the thread. I mean, you're, we don't wanna, strip the thread. So now I tighten it down. It's ready to go. Now here's what you do. You're going to make your thumb and your finger like an L. Okay. Make an L. You're going to take your thumb and this is the hard part trombones. You're going to take your thumb and you're going to put it up here. Okay. Take your thumb. And you're going to put it up there. Then you put your finger where your mouthpiece goes. Okay. I'm going to grab my mouthpiece now. When I put the mouthpiece in, remember I drop it in and I twist. I don't wanna go, even though it sounds really cool, your trombone mouthpiece is gonna get stuck, okay? So you push it in, you twist. And now you've got your thumb around that brace. You've got your index around your mouthpiece area. And I know a lot of you have really tiny fingers and they may not fit up here. You're gonna stretch it as much as you can to get in a good habit, okay? Stretch it up there. It's gonna be right at your mouthpiece area. Now, if you see, I've got my two fingers wrapped around here. My pinky is gonna be underneath the slide brace just in case I forget to do my slide lock. All right, so if I forget to do my slide lock, whoa, see that? but my pinky is ready to catch it. So that should become a habit as you're walking around and getting ready, okay? Put my slide lock on. I put my instrument up to me. We don't want this. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. We don't want that. That hurts, I can't reach it. We wanna put your mouthpiece up, again, where your neck is in that little groove right there and bring it up to you, okay? Again, it's gonna hurt your hand for a while, all right? Not gonna lie, you're gonna have to get strong muscles right there in your wrist and in your forearm. Now this hand, again, my pinky is there just to be you know, handy. If I know that slide lock's on, I can go ahead and wrap it around that part of the trauma. Now this hand, your right hand, mamma mia, you're gonna take your thumb 
and you're gonna put it with two fingers, okay? I don't wanna see any fist grabbing. A fist grabbing means that you probably dinged or bent your slide and now you have to force it with your whole wrist. Okay, the only thing that happens right now is that you take your two fingers and your thumb and those two fingers catch it and your thumb just kind of hangs out there. Those two fingers catch it, bring it up. Catch it, brings it up, right? Now these other two fingers just hang out there. Again, I don't want to see a fist like that. That's not how we play trombone. Now I'm gonna go ahead, wrap my pinky around in there, put it in my slide lock. And this is called first position. First position is all the way in, okay? For now, we'll change that later on. Now whatever comes out, comes out. Just blow, keep your lip, uh, cheeks in, and do exactly what we did on the mouthpiece. Take a deep breath. And if that one doesn't come out and you get this note, that's okay too. But if we can do those sirens, you'll be able to hit higher notes. my bottom lip to shoot the air higher okay and faster air uh, we talked a lot about this week about tip of the tongue to the tip of the teeth when you say tip of the tongue to the tip of the teeth it takes a lot of t lots of t lots of tongue action to, to say those words tip of the tongue to the tip of the tongue to the tip of the teeth and that's how you tongue on trombone every note starts with your tongue not your ung, your tongue. I'm still moving my air. I'm not stopping my airstream. It keeps going. I'm just interrupting it with my tongue. So again, oh, uh, uh, spit valve. So when you start hearing a gurgle, which might be, you know, after 10 minutes of practicing those long tones, which you should be doing, your spit valve, um, I don't know if I can use my towel here. You can use a towel at home. Don't let it on your, you know, parents' uh, carpet. So what I do is, and it might be hard for small arms to reach. You might have to have somebody at home help you or just, grow into it okay don't use your fit, foot and bend the spring so you're going to now when i do that i'm not buzzing i'm not going i'm just blowing air through it you don't want to go all right when you're doing that because you're going to disturb the class or at a concert so you want to make sure you just blow just blow air no buzz and i forgot to say something really important can we go back to unscrewing or, yeah, unscrewing this. Watch, so you have your mouthpiece off. I forgot to mention this. We wanna make sure that, um, again, I unscrewed it, right? I didn't pull it off and strip these threads here. You gotta make sure that the spit valve is at the bottom, okay? A lot of the times it gets turned around or if you're, um, very important, I saw that this week too. When your uh, slide accidentally comes apart and you're like, oh man, it fell down. Well, we want to make sure that your spit valve is at the bottom, okay? Pretty important to, to know that. And then again, I'm doing that slide lock. Really important to get in the habit of the slide lock. We forget that as younger players. And you've got your um, pinky under there when you're carrying it or you're not playing it. It's going to be there to protect it from falling. Now again, trombone, very, very, very um, fragile instrument. It's very easily bent and we wanna take good care of it, okay? So hopefully that helps you out. It's my favorite instrument ever and uh, we will be doing lots of videos for you guys, okay? All right, hope that helps. Again, drop it in there, twist it, and your thumb goes around that top brace, right? We make that L, very important. 
bringing my L around there. Bam, ready to go. Wrap these guys around there. All right, you guys, have fun on my favorite instruments. Bye.